Hey, hey, Jody here, Independent Sensei Consultant. Today, I always have such a glare. Sorry, on my glasses. Today is, maybe that helps. When, no, it's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, last day of August. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. I am so glad that this camera's facing this way. Because if y'all could see what's on that side, oh my. I got a mess, let's just say. So anyway, I want to jump here. Plus, I'm not on my phone. I'm on Bobby's phone. I have to get a new phone. It just doesn't hold enough space anymore. And I didn't feel like fighting with it. So I'm on Bobby's phone. Anyway, I'm jumping on here because I wanted to start sharing with you all my monthly of empties. I thought, because I always save all these empty clamshells from my wax, sometimes I'll cut these out, use them as little gift tags or something, but oh my gosh, I'm getting so many of them. I thought, well, I should be able to do something. And I've seen other consultants uh, share what they've been warming for the past month, so I thought, well, I could most definitely do that share my monthly empties with you all if you're interested and and i would love to hear from you all what you've been warming for the past month and what you found to be your favorite or something that you just did not like look at this i think i might have to get me a bigger a little bit bigger basket because i know i'm running low this i've had more than this in the past but this is just the past month should I be proud or should I feel ashamed? <laughs> no, but anyway. All right, let's just get started. This one, and I'm not a bakery girl, but this is sugar cookie. It's It smells really good and really sweet, but it, it's really light, and I love strong scents. So I found myself trying to mix this with other ones like this for instance, black raspberry vanilla, or something, I think it might have been apple cherry strudel. I found myself adding another one to mix it with because this just doesn't stay strong enough for me. But it's a good scent, really good. But So there I had sugar cookie from the bakery. And then my black raspberry vanilla, that's always a good one. Oh, that's real good. That, that one just never gets old. And then I have tangerine creamsicle. A lot of this is going to be from the spring summer scents that we just ended. So I'm getting through a lot of my spring summer scents. This one, tangerine creamsicle, is not one of my favorites. It's very light. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if I would even want to keep getting it for myself. That's just me. Some people love it. I actually know someone who absolutely loves it. She wanted six bars and she got them all tangerine creamsicle. So, moving on, we have Fiddle Leaf Fig. Now this is an oldie. I say oldie because I've had it for a little while and I finally finished it. Oh man, it smells really strong. It is a strong scent, but it, it's really good warming. And I couldn't even tell you what family this belongs in. I can't remember I've had it so long and but it is strong and I like it to warm it so I do like the fiddle leaf fig we got coral waters here that was a spring summer new scent um, it's pretty good I don't know what to say that I loved it I actually have this in my basement I just put the last cube in down there when I switched out my wax I have, I think, seven, seven warmers in my basement. But I mean, we have, it's not a finished basement either. My hair is aggravating me. It's not a finished basement. I mean, it's cinder block, cement floors, but there is a laundry area, my Scentsy area. And then we have like a, a workout room, a TV area, and like a pantry and a freezer in there. And then there's another room and then there's another room, so we have several rooms down there, and they all have warmers in them, and they have at least, every room has two warmers in them, except one has only one. And the last room down there is where my 
our cat litter boxes. So I have two warmers in that room and I hang a scent circle right above the cat litter box. So anyway, that is where I put this last key bat was down there in one of those warmers. Now here we have jammy time. Oh my goodness, love it. Jammy time is one of my all time good ones. I warm this all the time upstairs for the grandbabies. It does have lavender in it. I remember that part. I just love it. Oh yes, around the campfire. Y'all probably get tired of hearing about around the campfire, how much I love it. That's in my both my clubs. Yeah, you can get, when you get one that you absolutely love, you need to get it in your club. So you're always getting it. This way, see, I've been getting this for a year now when it came out last fall. And then it was discontinued for the spring summer, but I made sure I added it to my club so I continued to get it year round and it hasn't gotten old yet. My sniffer still loves it. But. So here we have Make a Splash. This is back to spring and summer, one of the newer scents that came out. I could take it or leave it. It's another one of those. And Lavender Cotton. Love this one. This is a good one. This is a good for the laundry. Again, I warm this a lot in the basement, along with, that might be one in here, Magnolia Linen, down in the basement. But this, Lavender Cotton, we actually have in our laundry line of products. So love that. And it smells so good in the washer whiffs. Sorry, I'm still drinking my afternoon coffee. And Bobby's already napping. He drank his coffee and he's napping on the front porch. But, you know, tonight is our harvest launch. Well, early in the morning. It starts at midnight Pacific time, which is 2 a.m. our time. So I got to make sure I'm up. I got to set my alarm tonight so I can get these orders in. And here I am drinking coffee and hoping I can go to bed a little earlier. I tell you, I can drink a cup of coffee and lay down and go to sleep. Does that make sense? But, okay. Sand Sweat. That is another spring summer. That was a new scent. Again, it's a lighter scent. I liked it okay. Don't love it. It's probably one I would try to mix with something stronger. Oh, but look, another around the campfire. Imagine that. This one here is the newest. It's scary good. That's because I made samples. I made samples for y'all, so... Some of you may already have gotten a sample. Some are getting some. I put some out in the mail today. As some have requested, I have to make more samples already. That's what I gotta do. I gotta make more samples. Blueberry cheesecake. This, um, I warmed in the kitchen. I do like it. I like it better than I thought I would actually. Cause I'm not into the fruity just the real fruity and bakery stuff. I always say that, but then there's some that I like, so. But I really tend to go for the woodsy and the spice scent. So, blueberry cheesecake, very popular scent with our fragrances. In the wax and in the room spray and in the scent circle. Uh, vanilla blackberry, that was last month's uh, warmer, or scent of the month. I really like that one a lot. So I did make samples and I warmed it a lot. See, here's another one, vanilla blackberry. Oh, there's another around the campfire. Oh boy, here is, excuse me, apple cherry strudel. It's okay, I put it in the kitchen and like I said, I think I mixed it with the sugar cookie. It did okay for a while, it doesn't seem to pull a strong scent for as long as I would like, but it did okay. I'm not saying I wouldn't warm it again because very, very likely that I will. Oh, oh, this is pink sugarberry mint. Y'all remember that one? That was scent of the month. I want to say back in February, maybe. Oh, it was good. Sweet. Yeah, real sweet. That, that's a real good one. It was a real good one. You can't get it now unless you have it in your club which I do not have at my club. 
another vanilla blackberry. See, I did make samples and I've been warming that. Stargazing. This was warmer of the month. Oh gosh, I'm losing track now. Maybe June. Stargazing, this is what we compared it to jammy time. Like an adult version of jammy time. Warm this in our bedroom and our, our bedroom in there. That's pretty good. Oh yes, Fiji flower. One of my favorite, favorite summer scents. And here we go again. I'm not a flower girl scent, but oh, oh, I love it. I do have this in my club. I have this in the fragrance flower, and I have this in the laundry. Love it. This is, if this scent comes back, well, I hope this scent comes back next spring and summer in the catalog. I just love it. Love, love, love it, because I don't know what it is about it. I just love it so good. Oh, look, another around the campfire. But we got then like four empties. See, we're almost done. Not too much longer. Hibiscus pineapple. That is a good one. This is one of my favorite in the body line. I've shared that a lot. I love that in the Scentsy Soak, the hand cream, body cream, all that good stuff. I love it in the wax too. And, and Magnolia linen because I warm this all the time in the basement. And that's all I have right here for my wax. So, I mean, that's not too bad for a month, is it? Look at that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now, sometimes I go a week before I change my wax out. I mean, we're, we spend the most of the time, especially spring, summer, fall, on the front porch is our favorite spot in the whole house. So, I probably change that wax out more often than anywhere else in the house. Our bedroom is neglected, our bathroom. This half bath over here, I probably change it more than I do in our bedroom. And in the hangout room downstairs gets changed out quite a bit too. Um, oh, and that half bath. But like in the basement, it's probably once a week. Upstairs, I don't keep all those warmers on 24 seven. Y'all know I have I think I counted up one time. It was 20 some warmers in our house and I had them all going. It's like, why am I doing this? So I have gotten better with upstairs because our upstairs doesn't get used on a daily basis, you know? So um, the grandbabies' beds are up there and everything. And if anybody stays over, of course they're up there. Then I'm going up there switching on the wall fan diffusers, turning on warmers. I'm like, there's no reason I need to keep these on all the time. I keep a couple on all the time up there, but not all of them. So, yeah, I'm getting a little bit better. And I think just in this area here that I'm sitting in, I have one, two, three, four, five warmers in this area. I have them all on, I think. Yes, they're every one on. Why do I do that? I don't know. I just love them. But anyway, and here is Washer Whiffs. Amazon Rain. Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I love it in the laundry. I love it in the room spray. I love it in the wax. I love it in the scent, the unplugged. I just love, I guess this is one of those that I love in all the different fragrance systems that we have. I usually keep Amazon Rain wax in this half bath quite a bit. It gets in there because I also have an empty fragrance flower. And I should, if I showed you all my fragrance flowers, <laughs> I'd have a little area here just all of empty fragrance flowers. And they're still so cute when they're done. And I know I've had some people actually, I had someone ask me today, do they sell refills for these? And they don't. I don't know that, that they would in the future because this is all soaked up. I mean, maybe you could get you know, two or three uses out of the same flower. These are just paper, handcrafted flowers. This is my favorite, by the way, the Dahlia Darling. I love it. Love, love, love it. But I don't know how long they would hold up if you kept refilling the oil and it kept soaking up. Eventually, it would probably just start crumbling. I don't know. But I say that, and they might come out with a refill, and wouldn't that be great? But... 
as for now, there is no refill for the fragrance flower. So it's so cute though. I can't bring myself. I have not thrown them away. I have them on a shelf down in that closet. And I'm, sometimes I don't know what I'll do with it. And then I have, let me see here, Autumn Road Trip Hand Soap. Love it. I, well, I should say I like it a lot. I do love it. But then the cider mill, I love, love, love it. So I made, this is empty already because I made two of the foaming soaps with it. I've showed you all before. Maybe some of you haven't seen it where I, I did purchase some bottles. I don't have them up here. I would show them to you through Amazon. I can't remember. Were they 12 ounce bottles? I'm trying to remember because this is a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce bottle of Scentsy Gel Soap. And I poured half into the foam dispenser soap and filled the rest with water. So I got two out of one of these. I'm so excited about that because I love foam soap. Love it. So guess what? Now no more bath and body foam soap for me. Because that's why I kept buying it because I prefer the foam soap over the gel. I still used it, but I was still buying the bath and body because it was foam. Now I don't have to. But I'm reusing my bath and body foam dispensers. You can do that too. Rinse them out good, clean them out good, pump out all whatever was in there. In the tube part right here, just, I just put water in the bottle and kept pumping it till it was good and cleared out so I had only my Scentsy Sin in it. So that's it, guys. That's my empties for this month, and I hope to do this again next month, and I know I'm going to have some laundry. I, my laundry detergent is getting low on a couple of them. So I know I'll have that. But if you want, share, comment below. What is your favorite that you've been warming this past month? Was it a spring summer scent? Is it newer scents coming out? Scent of the month? And what else did I want to share with you? Oh, I told you about the launch. Don't forget about the launch coming out. i got to set my alarm so I can be up launch happening at 2 a.m. Central Standard. You still have time to get me your order, whatever it is you want. I will get that in tonight. I got, I'm getting things all set up and ready so that way when I get up, because I'll be placed in a queue, little waiting room area, and just because I love you all, and I want y'all to get your goodies, so I am going to be the one getting up, not you. And let me do it for you. So send me if there's anything you've seen in there. Because this stuff is just limited time offer. There's no guarantee. And I, I'll just be honest with you all, which I always try to be honest. I have been in on a limited time offers. Uh, maybe not the Harvest Collection release, but... I have added things to my cart, and by the time I get done and go to check out, it's removed from my cart because it's sold out. So that's why I say I will do my very best to get whatever it is that you're wanting for you before it's gone. And we just have no idea of knowing what is going to be gone so quickly. Maybe it'll be there for a while, and I really didn't have to do all that, but we don't want to take a chance. So... There you have it. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. If there's something special that you want to see or see me demo or anything like that. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. It's been on my wish list since I saw it. Our new product, the Scentsy Air Purifier. I am so excited for that. And that is my hope that with this order I have going in, that that's going to be my purchase. And it is on back order right now, but I think we can still add it to our cart. We'll still get it once, because it's a new product. So as soon as they manufacture and get them all ready, they'll release them. So I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to share that with you all. Because I use an air purifier every day. We have a cat and a dog in the house. We have it running 24-7 down there. And it... it of course, it's purifying the air, taking out the good, cleaning it, and putting the clean air back. 
but it does not emit awesome fragrance back into the clean air. And I don't know that there is a purifier out there that does. So I am so excited about this. But anyway, I know I'm getting off track here. So thank you all for watching and holler at me if you want to add anything for the launch here in just a few hours away. Thank you all. Bye. I think I'm still going. <laughs> oh, I told you I'm on Bobby's phone. Okay. Maybe this is it. Bye.